dream you could fly, that you could soar like a bird in the sky, or catch the wind like a kite and climb higher and higher into the heavens? Kite flying has always captured the imagination in both young and old. Perhaps it's because we like to think of kites as extensions of ourselves, rising high above the pull of gravity, completely free of any earthly restraint. Meet Tyrus Wong, artist and kite maker extraordinaire. For four years, he worked on the animated Disney classic, Bambi. He went on to work as pre-production illustrator on such films as Around the World in 80 Days and The Sands of Iwo Jima. Today, he creates works of art that fly. The classic Chinese centipede is one of the more complicated kites to fly and is even more of a challenge to build. The kite is made up of a number of circular panels, Tyrus uses as many as 50, plus head and tail. The more panels one uses, the longer the body and the more impressive the kite's appearance in flight, but the harder it is to control. The materials that Tyrus uses to make a centipede are identical to those that were used to make the first kites in China over 2,000 years ago. They include paper, bamboo, silk, and rattan. Each panel has to be precisely designed and constructed. Dimensions and measurements must be constantly checked and rechecked. The bamboo, which is naturally strong and lightweight, has been soaked in water overnight so that it can be shaped more easily into a perfect circle. As in all types of kite making, balance is critical. Each of the 50 panels must be symmetrically aligned and balanced, or the centipede stands little chance of getting off the ground. Assembling a kite like the centipede requires hours, sometimes days, of patience and dedication to the job, but in the end, there's no greater feeling than knowing it was your personal creation from scratch. Final preparations are made for the maiden voyage of Tyrus Wong's new centipede. Each of the 50 panels must be evenly lined up, free of any tangles. The moment of truth arrives. And another work of art gracefully takes to the sky. said that kites make the world seem so much smaller and the sky bigger. Next time you're taking a walk on the beach or in the park and you spot a kite sailing high overhead, take a moment to slow down and watch and see for yourself whether the world doesn't really start to get a little smaller and maybe your dreams just a little bit closer. <laughs>